This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Shadow, a serious character who aids those in distress and helps the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the unseen voice belongs. The only one who knows the true identity of that master of other people's minds, the Shadow. Today's story, Appointment with Death. Number 2214, Warden. Oh, yes. Come in, Blakey. All right, Joe, you can go. Yes, sir. Well, Blakey, how does your new suit fit? Okay. That isn't what I've been wearing. Here's your railroad fare and the money you've earned since you've been here in prison. Not a bad little sum. Ought to help you over the first bump. Blackie, you've been in this institution for five years. That in itself should prove to you that crime doesn't pay. Now, you've paid your debt to society to slate the creed. Now, it's up to you to go out, get yourself a job, and live within the law. I'm free now, what, right? Yes, Blackie, you're no longer a number. Then I can say what I want. Yes, that's right. Well, then can that line of gab you handed me. I saved my five years, yeah. Well, now I'm going out in the world, but I ain't going out to live within the law. You're a fool if you don't, Blackie. That's what you say. I've seen men with your attitude go out of here before, and I've seen them come back. Some of them to sit in the electric chair. Well, maybe I'll be back to sit in the chair and maybe not. But I'm going to get the guy that put me in here. Nobody put you here but yourself. Ah, can that, Warden. Sounds all right from your side of the fence, but you ain't talking my language. All the years I've been here, night and day, in my cell, in the workshop, in the recreation yard, I thought of one thing. Get the guy that put me in here. Well, who is this fellow you think you're going to get? He's a guy they call the Shadow. And I don't just think I'm going to get him, Warden. I know it. I'm going to crush him just as I crush this half a dollar with my fist. Uh, hi, George. Then almost double. Now, I all right, all right. There's no two ways about it. You guys have got to go along with me. You're the big shots of every racket in this town. This shadow is as much an enemy of yours as he is of mine. If you don't get him, sooner or later he'll get you. Well, what do you say? Well, how do you figure you're going to get this shadow, Blackie? I'll tell you that later. First, I want to know if you're going along with me. Uh, we do anything to get this guy, but how do we know you can do it? I spent five years figuring that one out. I got it all set up perfect. Well, can't you give us some idea how you're going to do it? All right. First, I'm going to get the guy on my trail. Yeah, How? I'm going to lay a trail of robbery and murder across the city that'll shake the whole country. I'm going to lead him right to my door. But this time, I'm going to be all set for him. But you can't see this guy, Blackie. Yeah, I know. He hypnotizes you, but he's no further away than his voice. He can be gotten. And I figured out just the way to do it. Well, okay, Blackie. I don't know how you're going to work this out, but we're your friend for life if you do. What do you want us to do? Nothing more than lay out some dough. I want you to buy me an island. An island? Oh, what are you talking about? Right? There's a little patch of land no bigger than half a city block. It sits right in the middle of White Lake, right outside of town. There's a shack on it. That's going to be my hideout. That's where I'm going to leave the shadow. And that's where I'm going to knock him off. Well, if you're sure you can do this, I want to be in on the kill. All right, Frank, I'll need company. You're in. Okay, Blanky, the island's yours. Thanks. You're getting a swell bargain. The shadow. For a piece of tape. Hey, you are, sir. Five gallons, ninety-five cents. Ninety-five cents. All right. Hey, yeah. Uh, good, good night, night sir. Right. Here, here, little man. You, you travel back to the car and sit with Mother till I lock up the gas station. Oh, you want Daddy to carry you back, huh? Lost your tongue? 
<laughs> All right, then. Come on, now. Up you go. Are you about ready to go, John? Yes, Mary. It won't take me more than a few minutes now. It'll be late to have this little man out. It's so lonesome down the house. I thought we'd come out and drive you home. Oh, that's as nice of you, Mary, and I trust you appreciate it. Here now, son. In the car with you. There you are. Well, oh, what's this? Another customer? <laughs> Gosh, business is picking up. I'll take care of this one in a hurry, Mary. Be right back. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Fill her up. Make it snappy. Yes, sir. Would you cut your motor, please? Cut my motor? What for? Well, it's pretty dangerous putting gasoline in a car with a motor running. All right. Never mind the gas. Let's take a walk under that shanty of yours. Hey, what is this? A pickup? Your dope's right, buddy. Get going. This gun talks loud. Come on. Right down, lady, if you know what's good for you. Wait a minute, buddy. You've come to the wrong place. I've got exactly $9 in my till. That's my receipts for the whole day, and it's bread and butter for that woman and child in the car over there. And I'm not giving it away. Never mind the long-winded story. I'm here for business. Now step on it. Yeah? I'll step on it, all right. Oh. Uh, tough guy, eh? <laughs> now your wife and kid can use that nine bucks to buy you a funeral wreath.
The Marquis gunman seems to have an insatiable thirst for crime. He's held up over ten places in the last 24 hours. He's a shrewd and dangerous man, Marco. It'll not be easy to capture him. It seems so utterly hopeless. The chance of even finding out who he is. Margot, criminals all make mistakes. And this killer has already made one. The one that may trip him. Have you an idea who he is? Do you remember the description of the killer that young woman gave us? You mean the wife of the murder gas station man? Yes. Yes, I remember, but the description made no particular impression on me. I think I know the man she described. You do? Who is he? Do you remember Blackie Carmichael? Oh, I'll never forget him. He is the one who swore in court that he would get the shadow when he got out of prison. That's right. Well, Blackie Carmichael is out of prison. You think he's the man responsible for all these killings? I'm not certain, Margot. But there's one significant fact. The murders have all been committed since Blackie got out. This is a very dangerous case, Lamont. Dangerous for you, I mean. Don't forget that Carmichael swore to get the shadow. Forget? Hardly. I'm well aware of his threat. And I know he's not likely to forget it either. This case will mean the end of Blackie Carmichael. Or the end of the shadow. Well, Blackie, did you see anything? No, Frank, nothing. I don't expect to see the guy I'm after. You sure got me stumped. I can't figure how you're going to get a guy you can't see. Well, just wait. You'll be in on it when it happens. You can tell your grandchildren you saw Blackie Carmichael strangle the shadow with his own two hands. Well, that'd be something to talk about, all right, but... Listen, Blackie, if you want to lead the shadow here to this island, why do you cover up every time you knock somebody off? Because I don't want the cops to get wise first. I'm making it tough for them. You may be making it tough for the shadow, too. No, no, no. He's a smart egg. He got me the last time when I was well out to sea on the cleanest getaway a guy ever planned. Then you're throwing out enough bait. He ought to bite soon if he's ever gonna. Frankie, the biggest fish is a sucker for the right kind of bait. You sure raised an awful rumpus, all right. Ten stick-ups in 24 hours. Boy, that's knocking him off. You think that's something? Why, I'm just stopping. I'm going to keep pegging them until I wear calluses on my trigger finger. Drive a little further down the lake shore, Mama. We'll be able to see the island just around this next bend. What do you expect to find there, Lamont? I don't know. But I've noticed that nearly every one of these robberies, the hold-up car was seen in this vicinity. Uh, here we are, Margot. Put up right here. All right. Yeah. Look. There's the island I've been telling you about. Out there in the middle of the lake. If I understand, that island's deserted. Nobody's lived there for years. I'm not so sure about that, Margot. That's one of the points I must be satisfied about. You mean you're going out there to investigate? Yes, Margot. At least, the shadow is. Well, how are you going to do it? I'm going to swim out. Swim? Way out there? Why not see if we can just find a boat or something? Why, no. That wouldn't do, Margot. The shadow can make himself invisible, but if there's anybody out there, they'd certainly be suspicious if they saw a boat approach rowed by unseen hands. Oh, well, yes, of course. But I must be going. Don't forget my instructions, Margot. Yes, I've got them well in mind. I'm to wait here for an hour. If you're not back in that time, it'll be a signal you found somebody or something on the island. In that case, I'm to phone Commissioner Weston... And have him surround the island. Correct, Margo. And what time is it? Exactly 11.50. Good. I'll be on my way. But don't forget, Margo. At 12.50, you have a date with the shadow. This is getting me, I tell you, Blackie. I... I can't stand it anymore. Well, go out in the shack and take a sleep. No, I'm getting off this island. Who said you was? I say so. I'm going nuts waiting while you keep staring at that water. You close that trap of yours or you'll be carried off this island. Oh, now, Blackie, be reasonable, will you? This is a screwy idea. We can't wait around here for a guy that may never show up. I got things to but do. I can't... You... Oh! Oh! You're in on this, Steve. Oh! And you're staying into the finish. 
You get me? Yeah, for Pete's sake, Blackie, let go. You break my arm. Are you doing as I say? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear no more squawking. You got a grip like nothing you. My arm felt like it was in a steel vise. I down. Oh, what's up? What's the matter? Look. Right along where I'm pointing. And the moon hits the water. Yeah? Do you see anything? Just a ripple in the water, that's all I see. Some ripple. It's the one I've been looking for every night since I'm here. What do you think it is? It's a man swimming. Well, you're nuts. I don't see no man. Maybe it's just a fish. Uh, fish is good. The fish I've been putting my bait out for. What? Say, Blackie, you don't figure that's the shadow, do you? That's my dope. I'm willing to lay a bet on it. I get it now. This is the way you've been planning it all the time. That guy can hide himself, but he can't hide the ripple in the water. That's what I've been figuring for five years. I know this shadow can hypnotize you so you can't see him, but he's a body just the same. So I doped out this idea. If I could get him into water, I still wouldn't be able to see him. But I could see where he ripples the water. Then I could grab. Lucky, like that's a smart idea. And simple. So simple, I was scared some other guy beat me to it. That ripple is moving this way. What are you going to do now, Blackie? I'm going out to meet him just as soon as he gets far enough in for me to fetch on the water. Then I'm going to grab him and strangle him with these two hands. He ought to be a cinch for a guy as strong as you at any time. But now after he swam that distance, he's ducked. It's time to go, Frank. Here. Grab my duds, sir. Take Okay, Blackie. You better make it snappy. He's almost out of deep water. He's paddling in his own grave right now. Here goes. Keep your eye on the water, Frank. Watch the fun. Okay, Blackie. I doze on you. Don't disappoint me. Gang hears about this. It'll knock them all for a twister. 
Okay, that's enough. Get over here by the door. Okay. Now check some matches on it and let it go. Right, Blackie. This will cover us completely. Well, there she goes. Come on, scram out of here. This shack will go up like paper. Boy, look at it fine, huh? Never mind that. Load the two machine guns in the boat. They're in already. All right, then. Come on. I thought we'd never get off this island. It's worse than doing a stretch in jail. What are you going to do when you get back to town, Blackie? I've been getting chicken feed so far. And now I'm going out after the real big dough. I ain't going to be too particular about how I get it. Okay, here we are. All right, now get a hold of the other end of the boat and we we'll slide her into the water. Okay. There we go. <laughs> hey, Blackie. Wait. What's the matter? Look. There's a boat out there. What? Hey, there's another one. Two more over there. What's around us, Blackie? Must be the cops. What are we going to do? Give me a hand with this machine gun. And you're going to make a break for it? Yeah, after I knock off enough cops and open up a big enough space for us to get through. Set that gun up here. Leave the other one in the boat. We'll need it going across. We better make a break for it, Blackie. That fire's getting awful hot. What did I tell you? Shut up. All right, all right. Yeah, it's the cops, all right. I can see him now in the light from the fire. You got the gun loaded? Yeah, she's all set. All right. I'll get a bead on one of them two boats right in front. Take the one to your right first. Let's go when I tell you. Then we'll knock off the other one. All right. They're a perfect target now. Let them get closer. Uh, let's go, Blackie. They'll be on top of us in another minute. You let go when I tell you that before. All right. Get ready. Hey, you suck. You knocked the gun I, over. I didn't knock it over. What are you trying to hand me? I was Blackie. I didn't. I tell you. Who oh, well, else could have done it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could, Blackie. I did. What? Hey, Blackie, who's that? Who's talking? The shadow. <laughs> what, you hit her? It's the shadow. I thought you killed that guy. I did. I'm sure I did. Oh, no, you didn't, Blackie. I'm very much alive. No, you can't be. I held your I popped you down. I simply played good water polo, Blackie. Taking punishment underwater and holding the breath for sustained periods is a requirement of the game. I let you believe you had an easy victim. You know better now. Come on, run for it, Blackie. Into the water where you still got a chance. Right, Come on, I tell you, yellow rat. Come on, yeah. fight it out. Your little playmate is gone, Blackie. The police have shot him. There's no chance for you to escape. Yeah, that's what you think. You ain't railroading me that easy. You better give up, Blackie. Uh, well, I guess this round's yours, but the game ain't over yet. Put up your hands, George. Okay, okay, take it easy, officer. Tell your man to put away that captain. What are you doing here? It is Blackie Carmichael, Commissioner. Oh, Shadow, you're here too. This is the man you've been looking for, Commissioner. The killer of the gas station man and the others. Well, here's a prize package. Nice piece of work, Shadow. How on you? All right, all right. You got me now, but I'll get out again just as I did before. And the next time, Shadow, I'm going to get you. Remember that, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Say, Joe. Yes, Mr. Ward. Get Blackie Carmichael's record card out of the big pile. Yes, sir. Hey, Joe. Yes, here we are, Carmichael. Albert Carmichael, alias Blackie. Here you are, Mr. Ward. All right, stamp it and put it in a small pile. Yes, sir. There you are, sir. Uh, just a minute, let me look at it. That's right, Joe. Albert Blackie Carmichael. Discharged by execution. Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.